Hello and welcome to the Beer Tools, I'm the Beer Decatron and this is another Tech It tutorial. Uh, this would be my Unlimited Power Mark II, now it's just me revamping a bit and um, if you'd like to check out Mark 1 it'll be on the screen now but the reason why I'm doing Mark 2 is because Mark 1's having a bit of trouble at the moment uh, which I'm going to show you why. So, Mark 1 consists of ender chests, it did, two ender chests which I've destroyed one just with this, and buckets of lava brought in from the Never. I'll show you that in a minute. Now this is the liquid transposer which I use to take the buckets, put the lava out and then give me empty buckets. Now for some reason I used to have yellow on this side, blue on top and like red on that side or something like that. Now for some reason the golden waterproof pipe that I used doesn't connect anymore to this. Doesn't connect to anything. Look, I don't know why. It's rather confusing. I believe they did update it so but here's a new liquid transposer, doesn't connect, doesn't connect, doesn't connect. But it will connect to red, which is extremely strange as I use a crescent hammer to change it around. It's rather diff uh, strange, so I have no idea what's going on here, because red's usually empty buckets. It is. So if I do this, this is what I wanted. So no, now it connects to yellow for some reason. Let's see, but this side, this one doesn't. I don't know why, but this one is connected to yellow, which is what I wanted. But for some reason, this one didn't. See, now yellow, no. Yellow, no. Still nothing. I have no idea why. So I've decided to move away from like interfacing thermal craft, um, thermal expansion, and build craft together. And uh, I decided to move on to this and using only thermal expansion completely. Now I did get a message from uh, a YouTube user called uh, Baban42. He said um, he watched my video and said, "Oh, there is an easier way than that is using these Ender, um, sorry, Ender tanks." And uh, I said, "Oh yeah, I, I was going to use them because I was looking into these first of all, but for some reason it was really glitchy and just every time I used it." It, every time I come back, even with um, a dimension anchor, it still wasn't working, so I was really annoyed. So I worked on this, and this is Mark II now. Now, this is a very compressed version. This is, as you can see, oh shit, that's full. <laughs> just chuck a new one in. As you can see, it the power is flowing in there very nicely. Let me just show you quickly how to set up. So, same setup as before. You will need just like an ender tank, and um, if you built the setup from before, if I come into the never, there uh, you come here. This is a setup I had before. Now I've got rid of all that. And literally all I have now is a pump with three redstone engines around it and literally an ender tank on top. Now the thing is the ender tank will the it will just go straight into the ender tank. You don't need no pipes. Ugh. Don't need no pipes, no nothing. So very compact design, you can just go straight into the ender tank and then literally you just go through to your own world and um Make sure you put a dimensional anchor as well on the other side so it keeps working while you're not there. And then you come over to it and you connect up your dimensional anchor up to everything else. And for some reason, my liquid ducts have gone because I'm using just thermal expansion now. I'm not using anything. So here we have it. Now, if you've got red at the bottom of the tank, that means it's closed. You press that and it'll open up again. As you can see, lava is flowing into the pipes and into the engines. As you can see here, and as the tank just goes slowly down as it fills up, like that. Now, if I close it, now it's empty. Now if I close it, it means no things going wrong. It'll slowly fill up. See, look, it's going up. I mean, the pump never is actually doing its job. Now, I did say before it was a bit glitchy, but for some reason they're working now. But the thermal, but thermal expansion to Buildcraft aren't really working, so that's why I've moved over to this design. Now this is very compact um, engine core. This is, which is producing quite a bit of power. Let me just show you quickly how to set it up. So literally, just take your magmatic engines. I'm just going to use four at the moment, like this. You put your ender tank down there, and you take your liquid ducts, like this. Now one thing about liquid ducts: make sure your ender tank is closed because if um, if it's got circuit, so if I open this. I put that there, you can see it got stuff in it, but you will not be able to connect it up like that. Oop, balls. So close it, and then you'll be able to connect up these. So let's just get rid of these because I've activated them by accident. Like that. So once you've got your liquid ducts, liquid ducts are really easy to make. It's just literally copper ingots and some hardened glass. Hardened glass is pulverized obsidian and lead ingots to get pulverized glass. Very expensive, but 
they do the job very much well. I'm just going to need redstone NG conduit as well, which is literally NG conduit NG and it destabilize redstone and you just lose a liquid transposer to put it into there. This is just hardened glass with electrum ingots and you get four there. So here we go. So now then you go shift click to put these on top of here and you shift click to put them on top of there, such as so. Then you get your uh, memory engines again and you put another load on top, such as this. Come on. Yeah, man. So once that's all done, and you can do this, the next thing you can just go uh, bring your liquid ducts up the middle, and these will find lava to these guys, and then you can just put that there and that there, and then you can put. Now, before I put that in, you see these? These are arrows. Now, for example, this is power going into the engine, not taking it out. See, these ones are orange. Now, to do this, you get your crescent hammer, or you can even get a billcraft spanner. You can, which is, or a wrench, sorry, which is much cheaper. And literally, you just go up to it and you click it. Once it goes orange, that means power will be going into the pipe. Now, we'll be taking power from these into the pipe. Now, make sure these are all orange. The good thing is, if you haven't connected close enough, they will just turn orange straight away. And then you just do this and you turn them the right way around so the main engine is connected to the other end. So boom, 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 boom. And you just do the top ones as well. Make sure they're all facing downwards. There we go. So there we go. We have a simple engine we do. Now here's the thing. Now you put your redstone energy cell. Now this is the thing that's going to hold all your power. It is it holds 600,000 MJ, which is the main thing to take it. Now to make this, you can literally just do redstone energy cell frame and then you fill it up with destabilized redstone and to do this make that very expensive but it will do the job make sure this bit here is blue because that means power will be coming into it these are like a little arrow so power going in power coming out is now these are really good because uh, unlike uh, Billcraft pipes these will not explode no matter how much energy you put through them so this is just a simple design once you do turn it on there we go. Lava will fill up the pipes. It will fill up the engines and the engines will start pumping energy into this. As you can see, it is flying up. And now if you have this set up, you can just do this. You can just very quickly and put another one here. Now you can, so as long as you put this to orange, that means it will be taking power out and put it into this. So then you can have this going off into like a battery room perhaps and then you can have power coming out into another thing. So this is the main one I was going to do. I've moved away from ther from a Billcraft. Let's just close these into thermal expansion because for some reason the two Billcraft and thermal expansion, as I said, were just not clicking. And I've designed this a very condensed power core, which will re, which will power your power all your machines and everything you need for quite a while. And with uh, an endless supply of lava from the Never you should be fine because once these are fill up look at this it takes forever them you can just close it off let it fill up and you'll be all good or you can just make them go off in tanks but this is very condensed this is just to make it nice and easy then you can just have your power coming out whenever you need it um i hope you've enjoyed this little uh, tutorial again of uh unlimited power because my god this would just give you as much power as you want look power in two of them for some reason that's got more in it than that one jesus but yeah, this is just a simple tutorial. Hope you've enjoyed it. Please uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you've got any comments, please put them in the comments section and I'll answer them best I can. And uh, as always, keep calm and grow a beard and have a great day wherever you are. Bye-bye, people. Bye-bye. <laughs>